Hi, I'm Amy Fairbrother, and in this presentation, I will discuss the value of our stage two year three history excursion to the Australian Museum in Sydney and how it aligns to the unit outcomes and the history syllabus. The unit we will be focusing on this term is community and remembrance. The proposed excursion will fall into week six of the school term. In the lead up to this week, years 3A and 3B will begin to learn about Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people's culture, way of life, and start to address key inquiry questions such as who lived here first and how do we know? The excursion to the Australian Museum will draw upon this prior knowledge of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture and deepen the student's understanding of country through inquiry-based learning. This will further strengthen their capabilities to critically think, evaluate primary resources and work in collaboration with peers as outlined in the historical concepts and skills section of the stage two history syllabus. In the weeks following the excursion, students will participate in collaborative work as we continue to question how Australia became the nation it is today through the use of teaching and learning strategies such as the jigsaw strategy and hot seating. The Australian Museum is an iconic place that focuses on igniting wonder, debate and change in those that come and visit. This venue directly relates and connects to the stage two history syllabus and outcomes. Their main purpose is to connect, share and reflect on stories, artworks and objects. Observers are, are encouraged to open their minds to various viewpoints and respect, discuss and apply the knowledge to our everyday lives. The excursion will take place in week six on Tuesday, the 31st of May. Permission slips will need to be returned to myself or the office by week five, Monday, 23rd of May. And the permission slip will be handed out to students and parents in the first week of term to gauge parent volunteer interest. As I'm aware, there is no current charge for entry into the Australian Museum. However, that may change. So I've drafted up a permission slip that includes a $10 payment to be made to cover the cost of entry for the excursion. I have also completed a risk assessment for the excursion that I will consolidate with the principal. However, it covers all possible risks that could come along with the excursion, such as injury, strangers, behavior, and transportation issues. After assessing the potential for madness and mayhem, I have come to the conclusion that this excursion is low risk and appropriate for our year three history classes.